Hey guys, so today we're going to be painting my bug. Um, I painted this maybe five or six months ago. It's starting to lose its shine. It's not really holding up too well. It's a good brand of paint, and it's actually the same brand that I'm going to be painting it with today, but I didn't clear coat it. Um, if I would have clear coated it, it would have lasted a lot longer. Actually, I probably would never have to touch this up again. But I didn't use clear coat, so there's scratches and the paint's starting to fade and it's losing its gloss and it's it's starting to not look too good. Um, plus, I didn't like the fact that I had just plain gloss gloss paint on plain gloss paint. It looks kind of boring to me. The only reason I've kept it for so long is because one, it was it was a bit of a challenge to to get all these lines lined up with the body lines, and it it took me me and one other person I think like three or four days to paint this, and that's including the prep work and the sanding and the the dent pulling and all the body work and the painting took us three days. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to go over it with another kind of blue, but I'm going to leave the black, this plain gloss black. Um, the cap is a fairly good indicator of what color it's going to be. Um, it does vary depending on your base coat. And because I'm using the blue, this is going to look okay. Um, but really, for this type of paint and this color, and it's it's a fairly see-through paint unless you go on really, really heavy. Um, but because I'm using the blue base coat, it's going to make this color as close as I can get it to the cap color. Realistically, I should have done a white uh, base coat or a gray base coat. Um, if I was to go over the black with this paint, it would just look really dark and you you might be able to see some of the metallic flake. Um, but that's not the look I'm going for. I want I want it to be I want it to look nice and shiny and new and I'm not getting that with this paint job. So the paint I'm using uh, you guys can't really see the metallic flake in there. But that's about the shade of blue it's going to be if if I had better lighting. It's actually a slight shade lighter than what you guys are seeing. But it it is currently, I think, just past midnight right now. Um, I think it's around... 20 to 30 degrees, this is not the weather you're supposed to paint in. I preheated my cans, not in the microwave or anything, just stick them inside, get them fairly warm, come out, spray paint for a little while, bring the cans back in the house, let them warm up, and then you can come back out and continue. Um, but the, the temperature and the humidity is all going to affect the drying time of any paint that you use. Um, so I strongly suggest that you read the instructions on the back of your can, and it'll tell you the humidity levels and the temperature that you're okay to paint at. Um, clearly I don't have a fancy paint booth and a heater out here. I've got a wood stove, but I can't use it because snow fell off the roof and dented or bent the chimney almost 90 degrees. So if I light a fire in here, the entire place is going to fill with smoke. Plus, this is spray paint. Do not spray paint around an open flame or anything that's putting off a lot of heat. It can and will catch on fire. The can could explode if the fire comes up through the nozzle and into the can, um, but I'm doing the best I can with what I have, and a lot of you guys out there, if you guys go and do this, 
you're not going to have the right equipment either. So I'll show you how to get the best results with minimalistic tools. So I've done a little bit of prep work. Um, I don't want to completely prep this entire side of the car because uh, it's really, really cold out here. <laughs> um, but I have taped off everything that I don't want to get paint on. Now, a couple tips for actually spraying. Shake your can. It doesn't it take a half hour to shake your can. Nobody's waiting on you but you. It's It'll definitely make your paint job a lot better. Uh, definitely worth your time. And prep work is everything. If you don't do the prep work, you will not have a good paint job. Um, so... I've already shaken my can, I've already done the prep work, um, so now all that's left to do is spray. Now before you spray, I like to tip the can upside down and do a couple of sprays just to make sure there's no clogs and everything's going to come out without dripping. You got to inspect the nozzle where the paint actually comes out, mine looks good. I have already used part of this can. Um, once you use a can, you always make sure that you, you check this before you start painting again. Because if there's a, a glob of paint on there or something, you'll get drips in your paint. Or the paint will just run down the side of your can and all over your fingers and everything. And it gets messy. So, for prep work, what I've done is I've taped where I don't want to get paint. And then I have taken some sandpaper to where I'm going to paint. Now the reason for that is it gives the new paint something to bite to. If you paint over a perfectly smooth surface, the new paint is not going to stick for very long. Uh, it's going to flake, it's going to chip, it's going to peel off, it's going to crack. It's, it's not going to hold up. Uh, no matter how many layers you do. Uh, so... Sanding it gives it a little bit of something to bite into. It'll help the paint last longer. It'll make the paint look nicer. Um, and when you're actually spraying, make sure you keep a consistent distance between the can and your car or whatever you're painting. Keep it like this. Don't go like this. Going like this will get you drips. Going like this gets you a nice paint job. And when you're painting, always go past where you're painting. Don't stop, start, stop, start. Go past, and go past. And I, I like to feather out in the distance as I stop. That's not going to get you drips. All that does is it, it keeps the hard stops from happening. So, I guess there's nothing left to do but to do it.